Boulder, Colorado, one of the most picturesque locations in the world, let alone for college football, and you will see plenty of Buffaloes roaming here. What a showdown we have in store. A couple of Big 12 teams squaring off in what could prove to be a huge game. As we'll see, the Cincinnati Bearcats taking on the winners of seven straight, the Colorado Buffaloes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. And the Bearcats will kick it away first. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. So the Colorado Buffaloes offense will get the first possession of the game. And as the game evolves into an aerial circus, sometimes you find a superstar running back like this game. Comes the offense on first down. From the gun, the give, looking for room. Not much doing there. He gets it to the 26, a gain of one. The Buffaloes will hustle to the line. The give to the back. Gets it across the 30 to the 31, a pickup of five. Now they'll face third and four in their first possession of the game. Running back searching for a hole. They'll keep this drive moving by picking up the first down. They have it at the 36. And the Buffaloes come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. And there was no go for this quarterback and down he goes and a great job by the defense dropping in zone coverage all eyes on the quarterback taking away the options and then the finally the pass rush gets home gets him on the ground now the offense has to overcome the negative play after the defense comes up with a sack wants to throw it's sanders Quickly complete. I love the anticipation on that throw by the QB on the out route. You gotta throw it before the receiver comes out of his break. Nice work. From the gun, wants to pass. Pressure coming. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. And that is how you silence this raucous crowd. Defensively on the road, first drive of the game, setting the tone, getting a huge sack on third down. And the Buffaloes will punt it away on fourth down. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. Able to get the first one of the day away. They did have to send him out three times in that victory last week. They'll put that return to a stop at the 33, but the offense set up in pretty good field position. So Cincinnati's offense will try to get something going with their first possession. The offense lining up for a first down play. To the ground with the back. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. And here comes the offense on second down. They'll run play action. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Royer. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. Here comes the option. He'll toss it. At the 45 on his way. Perfectly timed on that pitch, and they pick up the first down on the play. Offense lines up for a first and 10 from the 43. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Good pickup on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. On the ground with the counter. 
He stopped at the 32-yard line, pick up a five on the play, and it'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll ride the hot hand. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. Scanning the field. It's Sorsby. Unleashes one deep. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. Pocket starts to collapse. Trying to make magic with his feet. Got enough space. And he'll step into the end zone. Touchdown, Bearcats! And he doesn't need anything to be open. He just makes it happen himself. Hey, I'm going to call a pass. Yeah, I want to throw the ball down the field. Oh, it's not open? Okay, I'm just going to pull it down, make it happen, take it to the house. What a scramble by the quarterback. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point makes it 7 0. A 67 yard touchdown drive there. And he capped it off with a 27 yard touchdown run. Coming out with it, it's Miller. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Power football with the run. He'll be stopped just short of the 20 at the 19. Give him one. The Buffaloes moving quickly to the line. The give to the back. Just gets it to the 28. Pick up of one. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Back to throw, it's Sanders. They'll run the screen. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. And the Buffaloes will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. That running game was impressive, taking them right down for a touchdown last time, David. Yeah, just mauling. No secret play calls, just simply we are more physical than you, and we're pounding the football right at you. So if you're on offense this next drive, take a look at their safeties and see if they're creeping up into the box. Because of your success running the football, this might be time to take a shot down the field and play action. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Leaves it with the back. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. They're trying to get to it. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. And early in the game, I love when you set the tone and make the quarterback feel uncomfortable. Nice job getting him on the ground, getting your first sack of the day. Listen, they had three last week, but they want to continue to build on that number and keep getting it higher, and that's a great start. The Bearcats will send out the punt unit. On the move, it's Hunter. He gets a block, delivers the contact. Very little will make a crowd hold his breath like a pump return, and he brought them to their feet on that one. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Caught behind the line, it's Horn. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. Now they've got it at the 44 on first and 10.
He's looking to throw it. Boy, was he well protected. Finally, let's one go to the left. The incompletion leads to second and ten. The give on the inside. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. And the Buffaloes in the hurry up. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Trying to escape and get it himself. He fights off the defender. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. The Buffaloes send out the punt unit. They call it a coffin quarter kick for a reason, and you really can't do it any better than that. He puts that thing out of bounds right around the goal line. The give to the single back. Couldn't fight his way out of the end zone, and they get him for a safety. Oh, and how about this defense? Understanding where they are in the field, they got a chance to put points on the board, and they do. So after that safety, they'll kick it away from their own 20. He'll feel the punt and try to make something happen. He'll be stopped, but good work there to get the ball out to the 37. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Give to the back. Turns it on in midfield. Nice pick up there. Gets him the first down and sets him up at the 45-yard line. Well, with the weapons this offense has, you knew it was just a matter of time in the run game before someone was going to break a long one. They'd just been running into a wall. They just couldn't seem to find their creases and get enough movement up front. But they finally got it there, picking up the first. Let's see what happens next. From the shotgun, they'll run it. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, he drops to throw. Getting some heat. He's going to run it. And he tried to make something happen with his feet, but they stopped him short, and it'll bring up a fourth down. How about this? It's out of bounds inside the 10, and they're going to mark it right around the five-yard line. What a great job there. That's the end of the quarter, and Cincinnati is on top. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game as we open the second quarter. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. Give to the running back. That hole closed quickly. He'll get one out to the six. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The give to the tailback. Looks as if he'll get it up to about the 14-yard line. You've got a third and manageable back up in your own end, but convert here and you get some momentum. They'll try to run for it. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. And the Bearcats will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Slips through the line. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. Now this offense is back on the field. Looking downfield, it's Sanders. Finds his big tight end. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. And the Buffaloes want to crank the tempo. Quick completion to the right. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. He knows he knows he knows he knows he So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Second down coming up. He's looking to throw. Oh, he's going to try to get it all here. He's got it, and he will score! Touchdown, Colorado! 
sometimes in college football, the best offenses are the ones that can create explosive plays just like you saw right there. They're top 10 in the nation in points per game because they don't have to drive the field. They've got dudes scattered all over this offense that can take it the distance on any given play. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they have a two-point lead. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Hey, fellas, here's a quick update on a top 15 clash today. Ohio State is just getting blown off the field right now in Columbus. And at this rate, I'm not sure it won't get worse. They're trailing by 14 to Nebraska. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Quick pass on the fly motion. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Offense in a bunch formation. On the play. Brings up second down. Off the play fake. They're bringing heat. Ooh, got his man. Great pickup as they'll keep this drive moving, and they've got it at the 45. And the Bearcats will snap it on first and 10. They go to the ground. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Got stuffed on first down. It's second and 10. They'll leave it with him. Just a one-yard gain leaves him with third and nine. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Trying to get to him. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. And he's brought down, and his defense gets the ball back for its own. There is little that warps the heart of a defender like a strip sack, even better if you get the ball. And I like the awareness of this defender on the play because he knew he might not actually get to the quarterback and make the hit, but he was able to still swat away, use those long arms to create the turnover. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And the Buffaloes want to move quickly. The lone back's got it. Not a whole lot of room as he gets a couple inside the 30 to the 29. Coming to the line, looking for that first down on third and short from the 29. Dropping back, it's Sanders. Coming after it. And the quarterback made himself at home in the pocket until the defense finally raided his house. Down he goes. I don't bring more speed on the field if I don't think it's a pass. Right? If I think they're going to line up and hit me in the mouth, I'm going to bring more big guys. They brought more speed on the field. They went nickel. They knew it was a passing situation. They told those pass rushers to hunt, those DBs to cover. And the defense was ready for that. The Buffaloes line up to punt it away. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. And the punt hits at the six, and they can't down it, and it'll be a touchback. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. The last time they had it, they weren't secure with the football and put it on the ground, David. Yeah, and I think sometimes that will cause for you to be a little bit conservative, but keep doing you. Put that behind. It's one mistake, Jesse. Move on. I've always been a fan of getting that guy who fumbled it, the ball back early. you got to let that guy turn the page. They need him to make plays if they're going to win this game. Here they come, trying to convert a third and short from the 28. He'll keep it himself. And he'll move his way forward to the first down. They'll mark it at the 35. Offense working from the pistol. Takes the handoff. It's Pryor. He was not going to be denied. Discarding tacklers, running behind his pads, and finally down at the 40. 
One man in the backfield, and he gets it. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground here. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. The Bearcats are flying down the field. Motion from the offense. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Offense walks through the line for play number seven of the drive. Looking downfield, it's Soresby. He hurls one deep down the left side. He's got it downfield for a huge game. Touchdown, Cincinnati! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. That was just as simple as playing catch in warm-ups. And this offense felt like they could take advantage of this defense down the field throwing the football. They've got a lot of speed on the perimeter, and I feel like they've got some matchups they feel they should be winning one-on-one. -on -one. We saw a great example of it right there. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they're on top by five. So a drive there of 82 yards, and the final 53 yards coming courtesy of that touchdown pass. From inside the 10, here he comes. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Looking to the big tight end. And they can't make the connection, and it could get worse. A penalty flag on the field, hold, hold, and it's in the holding up, zone. Let's get the call. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. From the gun, he'll try to throw. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seven. This defense has the ability to get pressure on the QB from the edge. And I don't necessarily mean from defensive ends, but from the outside linebackers. These guys get in their sprinter stances, and they come off the ball. That outside linebacker showed you his speed right there. This pass rush has just been relentless, and you can bet your bottom dollar they're about to bring the heat again. Back to throw, it's Sanders. He just kept going backwards. You have to step up, and they get him for a safety. You could tell the defense smelled it. They knew exactly where they were on the field, put the pressure on him, got him down in the end zone. Safety, baby. They'll boot it away from their own 20 after taking the safety. On the return, it's Turner. The returner brings it out to the 30. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. And David Howe, they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on there, going to take a shot. Makes the grab inside the 30. Defense needs to regroup as he gets it down to the 26. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play. And I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. And that will go backwards. A negative play in that defense on high alert that time. He's looking for a man on second down. Uncorks it. And he had it for a second, but it just dribbled out of his hands. They're within field goal range at the 29. Let's see if they can pick up a few or the first down on third and long. Feeling some heat. And the quarterback will take a sack back at the 36. We talked to the offensive staff coming into this one. They knew going up against the top 25 defense with respect to sacks per game. They had to do a good job protecting the QB, but they have not been able to get that done so far. They've already now allowed three sacks in this game. The Bearcats decide to punt it away. Hunt goes out of bounds, and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. He'll start this drive firing. 
Just a short pass to the tight end. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Looking to pass, it's Sanders. He's got his man. They make the stop, and that is the end of the first half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. A first half that saw a little bit of everything there in Boulder. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. And with that, let's send it back to the guys more than a mile above sea level at Folsom Field. And the Buffaloes will boot it away to start the second half. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. He's got great speed, and he'll be brought down after a solid effort on that return. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. First play from scrimmage, and they'll keep it on the ground. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Trying to move them on the counter. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Trying to pick up a first down. Looking to throw, it's Soresby. Pressure coming. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. Nice job by this defense. That's the way to set the tone in the second half. First drive, get him in a third down, get the sack, get the football to your offense. That is how you get back in this game really quickly. The Bearcats will line up to punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Kicks it high and it's just hanging there as if it has helium in it and floating down toward the earth. Looking everywhere for room to run, but really good coverage, and he'll step out of bounds. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Makes his man miss. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. And the Buffaloes are in the hurry up. He'll do it himself. Make the stop at the 40, but it's a 10-yard gain and a fresh set of downs. They'll put it in play from the 40 on first and 10. They try to pop a run on the draw. Using that running game to bludge and forward, he's got four down to the 35. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. Right back to the well. They get him down, but he does pick up three to the 32-yard line. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? Fast motion from the offense. They'll throw on third and short. Pocket starts to collapse. Just can't pull the trigger, and the quarterback is sacked at the 41. Another sack on the day. This offense has to do something different. Maybe bring in more bodies, run max protection, keep more guys in the block, only send a couple guys out to run pass patterns. You got to do something different. But bottom line, you got to protect that QB. The Buffaloes will call on their punt team. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. Signals for the fair catch and makes it at the 20. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. He leaves it with the back. 
He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Right back to the well. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Looking for a gap. It's Pryor. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And the Bearcats will bring the punt team onto the field. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Running it back, it's Hunter. Tries to find a little more running room on that return, but he'll be stopped at the 36. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Comes out throwing on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Now second and 10. To the air, it's Sanders. Throws to the wideout. Complete to the right. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. And the Buffaloes come to the line in the hurry up. When you get man-to-man -man coverage and you're running that curl, I gotta sell him deep. I gotta get a little bit of space where I can make him think I'm running deep, running deep, and then I sit down real quick. QB, wide receiver on the same page, first down. They wanna just keep throwing it. Gets it out fast. And hey, quarterback dropping back, understanding. I'm getting zone coverage. All I got to do is be a little bit patient, manipulate that defense a little bit. My wide receiver runs that drag, and I get the first down. They're trying to get to it. That pass is well off target. He got hit as he was trying to throw, and they can't convert on third down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. A fair catch called for and made. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. They'll try the run. Rumbles ahead for a pickup of five to the 29. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He'll run it again. Cross the 30 out to the 33 and gains four on the play. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? He'll pull it on the read. And he'll have enough for the first down at the 42. The Bearcats come to the line with a fresh set of downs. On the ground, it's Pryor. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves him with second and short. Off play action. Getting some heat. Let's it fly deep downfield. And a dangerous pass there almost threw a pick in the end zone. Went up top on second down. That leaves him needing a yard here on third down. Quarterback will keep it. Open runway ahead. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. You just hold your breath every time this QB keeps the football in the running game, man. With his speed, he's a threat to hit the home run every time he totes the rock. Finds the tight end. Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fella. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy gain. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots later, but take those easy, wide-open opportunities to get some positive chunks. A manageable distance on third down as they try to convert from the 20. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. Tackled after picking up the first down. And the Bearcats have moved it inside the 20. Trying to run, it's Pryor. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. They'll run it. Pirouettes away from the defense. 
They're just trying to bash it forward. He got a couple inch down at the 11. On third down, going up top. They're bringing heat. Pressure all over the quarterback, and down he goes at the 24. And that time, the defense dialed up a free safety blitz. They were able to get an extra number in the pass rush. Offensive line, running backs, they couldn't account for it. That free safety able to get to the quarterback. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. The kicker will try to punch one through from 41 yards away. Didn't make him sweat at all. It's good. And that will extend their lead even further. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. And it'll come out to the 25, no attempt at a return. Time for one more snap before the end of the quarter. They'll run the RPO and throw it right. They just barely saved themselves from giving up a score on the final play of the third period and will carry that one into the fourth. That's the end of the quarter, and Cincinnati is on top. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. Used to play fake, now to throw. Fires to the wideout. Got his man all by himself. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seventh. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Bucks! Late in the game, and the confidence is building if only there's enough time to finish. Time is ticking, but man, you gave yourself a chance now. Now the defense, go out, do your job. We got the moment. If you give me the ball back, I'm going to win. Let's go, defense. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Guys, gigantic implications in this top 15 battle today. And check out what's going down. Ohio State is getting handled right now at home. Someone needs to step in here and throw in a towel. Stop this fight. They're trailing by 21 to Nebraska. Your boy KC has you covered here in studio, guys, in case anything changes in this world. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. What if I had told you this quarterback would be sacked at least five times in this game and yet still somehow would be winning? It's not normally how it works got to give the offense credit because even though they've suffered some serious negative plays they've still been able to make some good things happen if they're going to get anything going on this drive they better be productive here on second and long from the 10 looking for a man it's Soresby he's right on target and they'll knock him down quarterback and running back set up in the pistol They're going to go to the air on third and short. Quick strike complete. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. And the Bearcats will snap it on first and ten. The handoff as they run the counter play here. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. Caught in the backfield, it's Pryor. 
And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. Ball's at the 27, his offense facing a third and long. The play action fake. Trying to get to it. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. The defense has been so dominant up front. You've seen it in these passing situations. That now, the seventh sack of the game. The Bearcats will punt it away on fourth down. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. Looking for a block, it's Hunter. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Makes the grab over the middle. And you've created some great momentum. Getting the stop, forcing the punt, now getting it back to your offense. Your offense starting to get in a groove. Late in the game, you need some big plays. You just wonder how much panic there is right now on the defensive side of the football, too, because of what you just said, David. They can feel and sense the momentum leaving them right now with the lead. So someone defensively better step up here soon and make a play. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. And the Buffaloes racing to the line in the hurry up. But right away after picking up the first down, they go right back to their playmaker at running back. And I love the push they got up front, getting a hat on a hat, opening a huge hole for the back. And you become so hard to defend when you can run the football successfully on the first down. If you're starting like that now, what opens up? Play action. Now you're making me play pass and run. This offense, if they can create that run physicality, now it opens up everything else. Pressure is on the way, and the pressure has arrived, and down he goes at the 30. I think this quarterback now at this point is looking over to the sideline saying, hey, can we just not throw it anymore? I mean, my guys, they can't block for me. I've got no chance back here. We need to just run the ball from this point out. Coming to the line of scrimmage at the 30, it would be a long field goal, but they'd love to pick up a few here on third and long. Out of the gun, the inside kick. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And they are coming out for what will be a huge field goal attempt. It's good. Fellas, we have a tie ball game here in the fourth. And this kicker has ice water in his veins. Fourth quarter, you need to make the field goal to tie it up. And that kid just drilled it. Here comes the kickoff as we are all tied up in the fourth quarter. And he'll just take a knee and this drive will start at the 25. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. Off the play face, first down. Looking deep down the right side. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Looking to throw at Soresby. Coming after it. Dumps it off in the flats. The defense wouldn't let him loose there. And it was a completion, but they lost yardage. A third and long coming up here. He's looking downfield to throw. Feeling some heat. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Oh, look what I found. The offense keeps it. Good awareness by the offense. You never want to see the ball on the ground, but a nice job understanding just kind of jump on it and make sure you keep possession. The Bearcats will punt this one away. Three and out, and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Running it back, it's Hunter. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. Line gets set, first down. He leaves it with his back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. The Buffaloes headed quickly to the line. 
Wide receiver now comes in motion. From the gun, the ground game. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Probably need to pick up a few yards. From here, it would be a 62-yard attempt. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Pressure coming. And they got him for the sack. Well, quarterback went down behind center pretty quick that time, and it makes you wonder as a play caller, against this pass rush, do you start thinking about maybe rolling your quarterback out and changing the launch pole? And the Buffaloes will send out the punt unit. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. A sky-high punt. Fair catch called for and made around the 20-yard line. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. The give is to Williams. Got room at the 35. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. After that big gainer to open things up, they'll put it in play from the 40. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Now on second down. Now the play fake. Pocket starts to collapse. And he can't escape, and down he goes. This defense, they are tenacious. And they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong that they can collapse the pocket. We saw it right there in that play action. Whatever they did on first and second down, don't do that anymore. Third and very long coming up. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Got it set up on the outside. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. The Bearcats send out the punt unit. He'll try to really get into this one. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. They'll run it out of the shotgun. You see, they need more runs like that. It's just it's been so few and far between. Defensively, they've been in position. They've been winning their one-on-one -on -one battles, getting off the blocks and rallying to the ball carrier. This defense has done a nice job slowing down the run game thus far. Still on his feet at the 45. The clock has stopped as we have reached the two-minute warning here in the ballgame. That's the way you get things going. A huge play and now attacking from just inside the red zone. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Some misdirection with the counter. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Here's the handoff. He's able to fight his way for a couple of yards, but it'll be fourth down and three. Timeout called here by the defense. It's the first one they've used this half. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. Splits the uprights. Good. And guys, they've taken the lead, and now the stage is set for the end of this one. Well, the offense and special teams did their job right here late in the fourth quarter. They put themselves now in position to win this game. It all comes down to the defense. Can they deliver? If they get the stop, they win this game. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Turner. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. Unloads to the wideout. He's got an open man. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Looking to go up top on first down. He's going up top here late in the game. It's complete. A huge pickup. Touchdown, Bearcats. They've got the lead here in the fourth. 
What a great job by this offense. And listen, I judge offenses by what they do in the clutch, in those big moments and right before the half, in the fourth quarter late in the game, just like right here. You need a score. You got to go take the lead. They do everything they can. Now, defense, you're up. I need you to get me a stop. On to attempt the try. On for the extra point. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Phil is a big-time top 15 duel. Let's get right to it. Ohio State is trailing right now, but it's only a couple of points. That quarterback just needs to show the poise of a young Troy Smith, and they're right back in this. They'll start this drive with a pass. It's just a field goal game. They're trailing by three to Nebraska. But we've got our eye on things here and everything else going on right now. And any updates, you'll see them here, guys. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. They're trying to get to it. Going to try to get it himself. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. Dropping back, it's Sanders. And he can't find anyone open, and down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. Catch in the middle, it's Hayden. Timeout called by the offense, 29 seconds left on the clock. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. Getting some heat. And he can't get it off. Taken down. What a huge play this late in the game. Desperate to convert, and he'll throw it. A deep throw as the clock winds down. Snags it inside the 20. Touchdown, Buffaloes! And inside a minute to go, and they've got the lead. Man, what a great job by this offense executing down the field, using all of the clock, being smart, getting the big score late, and I think that one should do it. If he can make this one, the lead will be three. It's good, and he pushes the lead to three. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And what a way to end it with what is likely the game winner in the final seconds. He'll start the return inside his five. No more room to run. They make the tackle right there, and the clock is at zero, and that's how this one will end. It's one thing to execute early in the game. Tight ball game right at the end. You need the clutch play. These guys deliver. And you can't teach that gene. You have people that, that can focus in the moment or they can't. Great job by the team. Stay in focus, understanding it's a close battle. Win those one play at a time and then look up and then, heck, I got the win. Yeah, David, they just had ice in their veins. And you can tell there's tremendous leadership on this football team. Guys could step up and in the huddle, they could make sure that everybody else is focused to the task at hand in order to get the W. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.